Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and it is time once again for some weekly painting progress. And lo and behold, I finally went and tried to finish the Tabby Brook Mage. Now, the Tabby Brook Mage was one of the older, and by older I mean before any Kickstarter shenanigans ever occurred, models that was released on her own. You can see here I tried to do some nice anime eyes, and I don't know my results were the greatest or not. They're finished though, at least I tried, I'll say that. And it was a pain in the butt trying to get the little eye pattern all around her cloak. But she's relatively done, and at least from a distance, she looks like she is tabletop ready. And nobody will be any the wiser unless you've watched this video and then you sit down to play with me. And then in that case, I guess I have to beg your forgiveness. Anyway, moving on. So we got her done, and then we got the salamandra finished. Or as nicely as I am willing to attempt to paint it. Now this thing was a pain in the butt to try to attempt because I kept looking at those Angel Geraldes videos and pictures and I'm like, yeah, that ain't happening. Um, I tried, I liked the actual, um, I don't know, it's not the line art, but like, you know, the, the concept sheet for it, which has a much more anime slash manga style to it. So I went with that. I went with a very basic, boring scheme but it's done enough. At least from a distance, it looks pretty decent, I think. And it's finished. And that's more than I could say for a lot of the Infinity figures that I own. So I'm happy that it's at least relatively finished. Besides that, we got a bunch of ogres wrapped up and finished. In fact, everybody minus the Tyrant and the dudes from last week which you can watch if you really want to see, are now painted. So we got ourselves a standard three lead belchers because I figure, you know, they're on 40 millimeter bases. 120 millimeter base is a basic unit in Kings of War. So if I get a nice rectangular base with 40 millimeter slots cut in already, they're good to go. And just because I was asked, we had some people complaining about a lack of pink nipples on ogres. And unfortunately, the camera doesn't really bring, bring them to justice. But yes, he does have pink nipples. So eat that, Barzan. You earned it. Let's see, what else? So we got a pile of ogres. And then we also have a pile of Mortec Guard. So let me get everybody else out of the way here. And we got just a few of them. So I got their Hecatos or whatever the official leader of the unit is called. A little bit of poorly done highlighting, shading. And I try to match all of their little stones up on their armor across the entire range of OCR Bone Reapers that I've got since I believe that's supposed to be like the thing that imbues them with life according to Nagash. I've, I've read everything correctly in the battle tomes which is possibly not correct but anyway so that's the Hecatos here we have this guy's been popping up in videos every now and then but he whoa he's pretty much done we have the official heavy weapon of the unit and sadly, I try to give these a bit of a purple tint, and on some weapons, it looks a little bit more obvious than others. You can see it more on his weapon there. And again, it's interesting, and I know I mentioned this like with the actual Mortec Guard video, the styles of heads that are available. Some are quite elaborate, and then some are very plain and dull. Or I shouldn't say dull, but... You know. Less less bling, less flash. Speaking of flash, we've got the High Lord, not Tamberlane, but the High Lord Executor or Executor. I don't know how they want to pronounce it from Conquest's Parabellum game. And funny enough, he's now in colors that match up with my OCR Bone Reapers, but they're all kind of weirdly organic bone-like armor anyways. So it's not like he's that far off from the actual house scheme that they've got him painted up in on their website so naturally if you haven't seen the video on when I put them together I had to use the plain faceless mask 
it just seemed more fitting. There we go. He is quite a bit bigger, though, than the actual Mortec Guard, so if you have interesting ideas and plans and uses for them, be aware of that prior to getting those said plans started. Speaking of OCR Bone Reapers, let's get them out of the way. And I finally got one of these guys done. Now, obviously, this is a Morgast, and this was a gift from Barzam. I don't know how many years back, um, when the end times actually occurred. He used to be on a rectangular base. And I had to pry him off, and he sat and sat and sat for quite some time. And then I figured, you know what, I finally got the rest of the guys painted up. I think it's high time I actually get this guy finished. So you can see I did try to get all of these skulls that are jammed in his armor painted. Some were easier to reach with a brush than others. But I'm happy with the results. He does at least match up with the rest of the army. So that's a plus. And then finally, in addition to the Morgast, as I said, we would have the Harvester, what is it? I forget what it's called, the Gorthazar Harvester or something like that. And I know some people had commented online about how it was going to be a real pain if you didn't paint all this stuff ahead of time, but it really wasn't that bad. It may not be in focus the best, but there we go. I just gave it a bunch of different various colored washes, and it looks nice and grizzly in there. It's only a matter of time, I'm afraid, before those crows fall off or I break them off. I, they're just very delicate, and they are perched oh so precariously. And I think I actually busted this one's foot already once. See the Stormcast faceplate there. I really like this model, though. I really do. In fact, I kind of wish there were more heads and more hands on him. Yeah, he's got a bunch all over his back. He needs more. And I really would like to see more crazy contraptions like this. I think this and the big catapult are what we need to see more of within the Osiarch Bone Reaper line. I think to me it's just, you know, way more fun than boring humanoids. Give them lots of arms and stuff. So, a nice little haul of stuff finished. There actually were quite a few other models that were pretty close to being done, but just didn't make the cut this week. So I'm hoping we will see them finished next week. Overall, I gotta say, if I can get this stuff painted, and believe me, it was a very hectic week, and I know I say that almost every week, but that's because every week is, you guys should be getting it done too. With that said, this is High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, and I'd like to say thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you back here next week with even more stuff painted then. Bye-bye.